Hello, hello. This is Randy Wooters with RandyExplains.com, real estate consulting uh, for solo agents, team leaders, and influencers. Anyone interested in uh, learning more about eXp Realty and business in general, please stop by my website, RandyExplains.com. Cool. We're going to get started today. Uh, we're talking about the eXp Realty application process, start to finish completely step-by-step step, uh, in a, I think, easy to digest format. Okay. So we're going to take, take a leap into this and hang with me if you can. You're going to go to either one of these two websites, join.exprealty.com or joinapp.exprealty.com. If you go to join.exprealty.com, you'll have to click apply now as an agent. Okay. If you just go to join app, you will see this right away. Okay. So if you are returning and you've already done this or logged in one time, you're going to go to the right side where it says returning agent. If you've never looked at this before, you've never seen this site, obviously you'll start on the left side. Now there is a little blue link. If you are an eXp commercial applicant, you're going to want to take that uh, alternate route. If you are joining in a different country other than the US or Canada, there are specific sites for you. This particular site is for US and Canada, okay? All right, so you're gonna log in. Uh, you're gonna put in your username and password and click remember me. That's a tip. <laughs> we don't wanna forget that. Uh, and then click sign in. Now you only have to do this one time and then you're, you're in the, uh, in the application. Okay. Now I've kind of circled a few things for you to kind of understand what's going on here before you click, let's go. I want you to just, uh, take note of this, jot this down, write it down, take a screenshot, whatever. This is going to be your personal code. If you ever get stuck or you want your sponsor to take a look at kind of where you are, maybe help you out. You can actually give them this personal code. Uh, they can't, don't worry, they can't see any of your private information. All they are going to be able to do is check your status. Okay. And you can drop that personal code in there and then check out your current status and where you are and maybe where you're held up or maybe where you're stuck. Okay. So jot that down, give that to your sponsor and then click let's go. Okay. So obviously uh, we're going to fill this out, enter all the information. Okay, click I acknowledge and then save and continue. Okay, now step two is the sponsor information. You're gonna have to watch the video first. It's very short, uh, it just goes over what a sponsor is. That's step one. Step two is click I have viewed the video. Step three, select your sponsor. It literally is that simple. I can't tell you how many people missed that little step two right there. And then they have to go back and do it anyways. All right, so it won't let you go on without doing these three steps. It also goes through a little bit of uh, verbiage right here, telling you what a sponsor is. Just make sure that you understand what that is. I actually do have the sponsor video right here, and I'm gonna attach this slide presentation in the description below um, in on the YouTube channel, okay? All right, so you've selected, select your sponsor, and you're gonna see this box right here. You're gonna write their full name as it appears on their license or with eXp Realty, okay? So like, for example, I'll give you an example with just me. So I go by Randy Wooters, but in this system, I'm Randall, R-A-N-D-A-L-L. -L. In order to find me, you've actually gotta put Randall in, right? So whoever your sponsor is, verify that you don't go by a, a, some sort of nickname, verify you have their full name. And sometimes you might need their location or their phone number. And so like, for example, if I type in Randall, I might see 41 results. I've kind of blocked out some of the information just so that we're not confusing people on, I'm not trying to get people to name me as a sponsor on this video. So, um, but you'll see there's lots of results and we want to make sure that we have the right person. Okay. You're going to click select once you've found your sponsor. If you can't find your sponsor, click here. Um, and if you don't want to select a sponsor, please call me. Uh, <laughs> because listen, having a sponsor 
does not hurt you at all in any way, shape or form. Okay. I cannot overstate how important it is to have somebody in your corner. It costs you absolutely $0 to have a sponsor. It costs EXP only if you name a sponsor. If you don't, know, you don't have a sponsor and you don't know who to name, reach out, okay? Want somebody in your corner. You want somebody helping you along the way in your career, somebody to mastermind with, somebody that's going to encourage you. Remember, your success is their success, so why wouldn't you want somebody like that, okay? Don't sign up for EXP Realty without selecting a sponsor. That's just asinine, okay? Don't do that. Uh, find somebody, name them, whether they're in your town or not, doesn't matter. Um, okay, that's my little piece on that. Okay, confirmation. You've selected your sponsor, great, proceed, yes. There's like so many double checks on your sponsor just to make sure you have the right person. And guess what? It's gonna ask you again, double check, read the name. Is this, are you sure? Yes, save and continue. Okay. So now we're talking about license information. Go ahead and put in your license. Uh, you can see I just kind of dumped in some zeros here. Uh, don't do that. Put in your license number um, and then save and continue. Okay. And guys, remember at any time you have any questions at all, uh, you're going to notice on the bottom right hand corner, see this little chat box? You can always ask for help. Okay. If you get stuck. Okay. So we're talking about experience. Click the boxes, you know, talk about your experience. Um, I like this, this little new feature right here with a calendar, you can select a date in the future if you can't join today. Okay. So a lot of things, a lot of people think that when you fill the application out, you're joining today. That is actually not true. You're just giving EXP a heads up that you're joining soon. Okay. It could be tomorrow. It could be three weeks from now. It could be a month from now, whatever it is, you can do the application now and then sign up you know, whenever your date is. Okay. So keep that in mind. Also, if you're brand new and you've done less than three transactions and you know, a mentor in your area, that's already at EXP, you can request them by name. Okay. Uh, I can't promise you that you will get them, but you can request them. Okay. Cause they could be full. They could, you know, already be loaded down with other mentees, but you can definitely request them. Okay. Obviously, you're going to fill in all of your financial information. Um, you're going to go through, be thorough, okay? You know, make sure you got all the right information. Guys, you're signing up for a brokerage, right? You can kind of expect that you're going to have to answer some of these questions. Save and continue. All right, fees con uh, confirmation. Just a heads up, it is 149 to sign up with eXp, and that's going to include 1,000 business cards, right, included. Uh, some folders and some other stuff. And it also includes your first month, your $85. Also keep in mind, even though you're giving information for this to be charged, it does not get charged until license transfer. So remember, remember back when we were talking about uh, you can put your license transfer date like three weeks from now? Well, guess what? Your 149 won't be charged until license transfer happens. So if you put three weeks from now, then that won't be charged until three weeks from now. Okay. Now your $85 a month, let's talk about that for a second. That is going to be charged usually on the first of the month. Okay. Now, what if you join on the 15th? You actually get 15 days for free because it's going to, that 149 is also going to cover the next month. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Your join date will actually be the first of the following month. So even if I joined, on the 2nd of, let's say, February, uh, my join date will actually be March 1st, my anniversary date, okay? And then that'll be when, whenever, you know, my first, um, I'll get that entire month basically covered for free. And then the next one will be on April 1st, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, fill out your information. Okay, so obviously verify your personal information, verify all that, save and continue. All right, you're almost there. Now all you have to do is sign your documents, okay? What documents? The ICA, Independent Contractor Agreement. All right, I'm supposed to tell you to read this thoroughly, okay? Read it thoroughly, um, understand what you're signing. 
By the way, you are in real estate, which is a very contract driven industry. So you should probably read it. Okay. But once you, uh, once you're ready, go ahead and click get started. It'll ask you if you want to sign each individual box or if you want to insert your signature in all areas. Up to you. Clearly, the faster method is to insert your signature in all the areas. Uh, again, up to you. If you run into any problems or you have questions, remember the chat box in the bottom right hand corner. All right. So you make, make sure you sign everything and add your card info in the correct section so XP Realty can charge you the $85 monthly fee. Yes, there's multiple sections that you're going to be adding that information. I don't know why it just is. Okay, um, verify correct sponsor. This is very, very important. Just because you put it in on the other part doesn't mean that it somehow magically appeared correctly here. Verify, verify, verify. If this is a different name or no name, stop. Don't sign. Okay, go back or click on the get help button at the bottom right hand corner right here because this needs to be correct. This actually is the only thing that matters when it comes to sponsor, because this is the actual contract of your, uh, your contractor agreement, okay? So if this isn't right, there's gonna be some issues. It's not that we can't fix it, it's just that it's a pain in the butt and it's gonna slow you down, okay? So let's just make sure this is right. If it's not, let's go back or let's ask questions, okay? Oh my goodness, equity program. If you have not dug into what the equity program is, uh, I don't have time to go over it now, but I do have a stock video where I go over all the stocks at eXp Realty. If you wanna check that out on my channel, you can, uh, but I highly recommend checking this because you wanna earn uh, basically stock at a 10% discount, okay? And there's no vesting period, it's yours, you can sell it. It's like trading $9 for $10 every single time. I don't know about you, but I would do that repeatedly as many times as possible. So you won't regret it, check it. Uh, you can always uncheck it later. You can always opt out later, or you can always opt in later. So, okay. Thanks for submitting your document and then click close. All right, now we're almost done. Verify, green, 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 green. Done, cool. Click here for help during the workday. You did it. Woohoo. Woo you made it. You're here. Now what? All right. You're going to get an email. And maybe you've already gotten the email while you were working on that application. Okay. You're going to complete the steps in the email as directed. Call or text your sponsor if you have any questions at all. Use your guest pass for eXp World and jump in to speak with somebody in onboarding if you get stuck. Okay. This is an example of your email. And you can see that, uh, you know, we've got a lot going on here. Just bear with me, just treat it like a checklist and click on every link that's possible. Uh, you guys are seeing that my wife is in there because that's who I used for this application. So there you go. Now, you know, my wife's name is Amy. All right, so click on the hub. You can see there's a little video that talks about what the hub is. And then just go through each step. I, I don't know how much more clearly I could put the, the red arrows. You've, you've got to dig into all of the tools and resources, okay? Um, there is a phone number. I, I don't recommend starting with that. I would do everything else first. Um, you know, try not to, try not to call. I, I wouldn't think that would be the best communication method here at HP Realty. We don't have a call center, by the way. Um, there's so many resources and guides available <clears throat> that you shouldn't really need to call. Okay. Downloading and signing in the eXp world, click here, right? So follow this to a T. It's going to tell you what your passport guest access username is. It's just going to be your email. Okay. And then you've got a lot of good stuff here and how to download eXp world, go in all that good stuff. All right. Now, I've clicked some of those things and I've given you the links, okay? So you don't just get a screenshot of an email, you actually get the links. So agent joining experience, click here. It'll take you to this little website where there's tons of information. There's no lack of information, that's for sure. All right, click here to watch the Welcome to the Hub video. It's just kind of an immersive way to do onboarding. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. Click here for technical assistance. 
um, you know, anything that's kind of going weird with, you know, your joint application or EXP world tech, tech assistance right there. Very helpful. All right. Downloading EXP world. Here is the download link. Uh, and by the way, just to kind of recap, this presentation is going to be a clickable link in the YouTube um, description, the, the video description. Okay. And by the way, click subscribe and uh, notifications, because when I roll out a new video, you'll get, you'll get some more stuff. Okay, cool. And like, all right. The next one is the getting started guide. Um, and this is kind of like the PowerPoint presentation of like getting started. I've expanded upon this and added to it and made a video. So if you want to read it, go for it. If you want to watch the video, there it is. It goes through 30 minutes of basically everything I could think of, of getting started with essential training. Okay. So to get you actually started after onboarding for the first 30 to 60 days, depending on how long it takes you to train on some things. Okay. Very helpful video. Um, and this is the checklist that I go over in the video. Okay. And so I'm giving you that as well. Very, very helpful. Branding guidelines. Uh, now that you're here, you're probably going to want to know how the heck do I get the logo? Well, there you go. Click there and it'll tell you kind of what to do, what not to do. You know, you can't change the color. You can't squash it. You can't do an outline. You can't do a gradient. There's a bunch of things you can't do. Uh, remember, this is a, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, uh, registered, copywritten, whatever it is, <laughs> trademarked logo. You can't just change it. Um, so, okay. Check those guidelines out. I'm not a branding specialist, but just check it out. All right. That's it. Congratulations. Welcome to EXP Realty. Uh, and thank your sponsor, a sponsor for this life-changing opportunity. It seriously is life-changing. If you take it serious and you dive in and you capitalize on all that EXP has to offer, it is a genuinely amazing brokerage with lots of opportunity. Okay. Um, and if you want to know more about the stock, check out the stock video. And I'm probably going to be doing a RevShare video pretty soon. Okay. And if you haven't looked at RevShare, take a look at RevShare. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Again, this is Randy Wooters for randyexplains.com on the application process.